Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Another very important concept for my junior students. This is lecture number 27 of the series of videos for class 6 students. And for all those who are preparing for the competitive exams right from the scrap, they need to understand and learn all these basic things which I am going to you know, put up in future also. And all these videos will prove very useful in your preparation. So today's video is about expanded form of numbers and then the place value table and lot many more topics uh, in this particular video. So watch the entire video and after watching the video, you need to practice these concepts. How do you practice them? We have made a 60 question practice worksheet based on these concepts, which I'll be discussing in this video. And the link of that PDF is given here in the description box below. Click that download it practice it watching the video is good but practicing along with watching the video will be amazing so we have some more offers going on uh, right now the best offers the summer vacation is round the clock and uh, the ebook of short tricks is you know in demand now and the students are uh, trying to upskill themselves by calculating 10 times faster that's what they need to do when they appear in the quantitative aptitude exam at higher level uh, they will be well equipped with all these short tricks the reasoning course it comes with video support uh, even the ebook comes with the video support the cbsc practice worksheets this is something we have been working on very recently and uh, lots and lots of practice worksheets up for grabs and uh, you know you can practice comprehensively and ensure that you cover each and every topic uh, with a very very minute uh, detail so whatsapp 9896369963 if you want to get a copy of those or visit www.sureshagarwal.in to download a copy of all those pdfs and obviously i told you link is in the description box below click the link and download the 60 question practice pdf of this particular concept Let's see some of the examples which are uh, you, which will be very useful in solving the practice PDF questions. Place value table. Now you know the place value table. Uh, we start from the ones here, and then if we move on like this, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. And on the right hand side, that is the number after decimal, we have the tens, and then the hundredth, hundredth and thousandth and so on tenth hundredth and thousandth and so on so this is called place value table and if you want to uh, write 30072 so 0.72 right the decimal is here so this decimal is the separation between ones tens hundreds and tenths uh, hundreds and so on so if you write ones as zero tens as zero and hundred hundreds as 3 then tenths as 7 and hundredth as 2 then this actually represents this decimal number 300.72 or you can say 3 hundreds so 3 into 100 plus 0 into 10 you don't need to write uh, 0 into 10 right and 0 into uh, 1 you don't need to write that also 7 tenths so 7 into 1 by 10 and hundredth that means 2 into 1 by 100. Now, this is the expanded form of this decimal, which is represented in this place value table like this. So, all, I've already exp uh, expanded this number for you. We have the second question also here, 48.7. If you want to expand that, now this 4 is in the tens place, therefore 4 times 10 plus 8 is in the ones place, so 8 times 1 plus 7 that is after decimal so that is tenth and therefore seven will get multiplied by one tenth that's the expanded form of 48.7 a very useful concept for all the junior students they need to understand this and apply this in the practice pdf the link of which is given below let's see some of the questions now now when the expanded form is given to us and we have to convert that into a decimal see 40 plus 2 plus 3 tenth See, 40 plus 2 is elementary, right? 40 plus 2 is 42. But 3 upon 10, you should know that it is 0 0.3. When we divide anything by 10, uh, we put a decimal one digit from the right hand side. So 0 0.3 and therefore, when you add them, 42 plus 0 0.3 will become 
42.3. Likewise, if you have the second question here, 90 plus 7 plus 1 tenth, you know that 90 plus 7 is 97 and 1 tenth is 0 0.1 and therefore it is 97.1. You can have so many technical uh, uh, difficulties, you know, when you are handling such expansions. Uh, you will know that when you practice this concept through the practice PDF. And that's why I keep on insisting you to go for the practice PDF after watching the video. Let's see some more questions. Between which two whole numbers does 49.853 lie? So uh, that's pretty elementary and I know students must be well aware of that. You know, when you are writing 49 point something, it is always, the number is always greater than 49 greater than 49 even if the, the uh, numbers the digits after decimal is like 0. 0.00001 even then the number is greater than the number which is uh, you know in front of the decimal that is on the left side of the decimal so it is greater than 49 but since it is 49 point something it has not reached the next whole number that is 50 and therefore the number is less than 50. So between which two number 49.853 lie? It lies between 49 and 50. Now, how do you represent numbers on a, a decimal numbers on a number line? See 1.4. If he asks us to write 1.4 on a number line, we have only one digit after decimal, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to separate out. Suppose this is 0, this is 1 and this is 2. So we know that this 1.4 lies between 1 and 2. Just now I told you the concept. It is greater than this number and less than the next whole number. So between 1 and 2. So somewhere between these 1 and 2, 1.4 lies. Now since we have only one digit after decimal, we will be uh, separating out the, this distance between 1 and 2 into 10 equal parts. So I'll separate it out like this. So this, this is the fifth part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So I have separated out that gap between 1 and 2 into 10 parts. So each part will represent 0.1 because that will become 1 tenth. 10 parts, one part is 1 tenth. And therefore, the first part here, this is 1.1. The second part here is 1.2. The third part is 1.3. And therefore, the fourth part, that is the one which I am darkening right now, this part is 1.4. Now, that's how you represent numbers on a number line. Since we had only one digit after decimal, I separated it out into 10 parts. Uh, when I distributed those 10 parts into, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, immediately I knew that the fourth part, the fourth line is going to be 1.4. Now that's how you need to understand these concepts and I'm sure these are going to work wonders for my class 6 students and also for competitive exams. So this is lecture number 27. Look for more such lectures in the in future also. I'm sure you must have clicked the bell shaped icon for, uh, uh, and subscribe the channel. Only subscribing the channel is not going to work. You know, it's useless to just subscribe the channel. Along with that, you have a bell shaped icon. Click that and click all notifications so that you keep on getting every notification whenever I upload a new video uh, or whenever I come live also. So do share this video with all the class 6 students and uh, all those as uh, people aspiring to clear competitive exams. Thanks for watching this and all the best.